Welcome back after a successful tour of Europe. Agent Sasko brings to our stage right now the theory of regativity. Sasko, bless her. You, you don't yeah. even come out of the plane good, but you're there. Yeah, you're yeah, there. You're you the you know, we appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. And so, likewise, I appreciate it. Where did you go? Where, where right, you so go? We, uh, we did a, a couple of cities well in Germany. We did like five cities in Germany. Um, we did Paris, um, two cities in, in Italy, uh, mm -hmm. Perugia and Rome, and Austria and a place called Innsbruck. No, hear me, Vienna and Innsbruck in, in Austria. Yeah. Okay, so what's, what's the takeaway in relation to the state of the music? Uh, let me tell you, it's a, it's a serious time for, for mm -hmm. music and, you know, it's all well and good for come on, you know, on stage and, um, you know, try to, you know, paint a, a fantastic picture of things. I mean, we have been hearing the argument about dancehall and reggae being dead and all of that. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you, from what I've seen this time around is that, you know, th there is cause for concern, but, uh, you know, and at the same time, there is cause for... Um, to be optimistic too. Yeah, for, you know, definitely. Because so both are coexisting right now. Well, Opportunities are there, but things mm -hmm. are dying. Well, I, I, I wouldn't want to use the term dying. It's, like I said, it, it's, it's really, there's cause for real concern and, mm -hmm. and there is cause for action. Okay. You know, and so the players who really um, love this music and, and care for it and want to see it continue to grow and do well are, you know, need to, um, first of all, look at what the realities are. You know, and okay. the reality is that you know serious action needs to be taken. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, we had a great run, and um, mm -hmm. you know, out, out, outside of this story, I really, I'm, I'm clearer now in terms of um, how to move forward in that market. Uh, um, and you know, with this album, also is kind of like um, a useful tool in, in, in the whole process. Okay, uh, give us some more details about how to move forward. What, what do you, what, what well, does we need, that mean? Well, we need, we need to recognize what we have in this music. We need to recognize that this music um, is, is still a young, uh, from reggae and dancehall, dancehall being the younger one, but reggae music, I mean, if we want, we, we can, and oh, and this is, by the way, what the theory of reggativity is about. It's really yes. taking a, a, a kind of, um, um, a sort of like an academic look at, mm -hmm. at, at, at the music in terms of where reggae come from. Mm -hmm. You know, w w what is the date of birth for reggae? Because mm -hmm. it starts at a point, you know, when was okay. that? Yes, you know what I mean? Yes. So let's call it late 60s mm -hmm. or 1970, somewhere in there. So it's mm -hmm. in, in that little 69. Let's say 69, Six, 70. No, well, I'm going to say 70. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but mm -hmm. that's our vision. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so we're going to say 1970. Now, if my math serve me correct, we're going to talk about um, okay. a music that is 45 years old. Um, there is no, there is no, uh, it, it don't hold to be here forever. It wasn't here forever. It never there from the start of time, matter of fact. So in order for it to stay here and in order for it to go another 45 years, then things need to happen and, and we need to recognize that. It's not a given that it, the music going to 45 more years. All right, so let's clarify this though because mm. the, 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 the new unique sound that mm. is um, now officially called reggae mm. uh, or Jamaica's music, Jamaica's pop music, mm -hmm. own unique pop music, mm -hmm came about at the turn of the 60s with Skia. Yes. Then it transformed into Rocksteady in 66 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to 68. And 69, it was changed to what we call the reggae. reggae. Right, no, yes. Right, so mm -hmm. it's, it's really over 50 years old mm -hmm. in terms of the entire body of work that is considered See Jamaica's be, pop yes. music, mm -hmm. unique pop sound. Mm -hmm. So reggae, though, as mm -hmm. a genre, really came about 69, a genre. So, yeah. But I think the umbrella name, my personal position on mm. this, because uh, all of this is very... This is interesting. It's very fluid. The, the official umbrella mm. family name, in my view, mm. is reggae. And, but that name came only after. The, the umbrella so, of family so the name... So the DNA was already there. Yes, yeah. the DNA mm. for reggae, mm. because the, there's, a, there's a, a common thread in mm. all the, the genres. Yes. The ska yes. genre, the, the yeah. rocksteady genre, yeah. the reggae genre, and the dancehall. The vibe. The, there's a vibe in, yeah. in there that is common among all of them. Yes. So for me, the whole body of work for 55 years mm. is really reggae. Yes. That's the name for it. Yeah. So you're talking then yeah. specifically about, about reggae, reggae yeah. the genre. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. See, and yeah. as may I say, just understanding that, just, just taking into account that it's, it's 45 years old mm -hmm. and um, a lot of work and sweat and tears that have going to that 45 years. Okay. We need to recognize that in order for the music to see another 45 years. And when we say reggae, we don't mean it have to um, exist uh, you know, in the 
exact same form, but in order for Jamaican music to still have a presence in the world and for people, you know, for, for we have more Bob Marley's mm -hmm. and, you know, more Dennis Brown's and people to you represent the culture um, yes. across, the, the, you know, the, the, the platform, then work need to go in still. It's not, we can't just say, go and like say it, I got by itself. You know, okay. that, that's, that's the vibe. And when we say work, we mean serious work. Like this tour, this tour was about work. It wasn't about, um, you know, you know, glamour and, and palab and things, work it name. Mm -hmm. it, and this is where I feel the responsibility. And every man who, you know, carry the music forward anywhere in the world you go as an ambassador of the music, this is how serious it is. Some, a, a girl in Austria said to me that she, um, she, she, she's a dancer, she, she run a little dance studio, dance all business me I talk about, and people come and them teach lessons and she travel doing dance all. So she's in university, so I said, you know, how did you start? Mm. Well. Um, how did you even know about the music? You're born Austrian, you know, mm. your family now nothing to do with reggae, what you know about it? Our sister introduced her to reggae, our older sister. You know, our sister get introduced to reggae. What the first live concert you see? Assassin in Vienna nine years ago. Mm. And she did able to leave that concert with a vibe to start follow up this music now. She can introduce her sister to it and you have another generation of um, somebody in Austria who care about dance hall and reggae music. Yes. That is the responsibility that you have when you go up on the stage anywhere for representing the music. It's not just, boy, you're going to do a show and it's about you. It's not about you, my bridge. All right. You, 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 you got some extreme, some, some mainstream exposure mm -hmm. this year. Talk yeah. a little bit about that. Right, well, yes, I was um, featured on the, the Kendrick Lamar Black of the Berry song. And, mm -hmm. you know, outside of that, we have some work with um, uh, Cardinal Official as well. Rake One, mm -hmm. uh, Melanie Fiona. I was a, a performer at the, um, the 365 Block Awards. Mm -hmm. I did a Verses and Flow, um, an appearance with Rake One. And you know, a year and a half ago was the, the Kanye West um, feature on, on that album. Now, for me, that's you know, just another way of, once again, um, representing the music. All right, let's delve a little deeper now into uh, the theory of yeah. negativity now. Yeah, say I'm a beard that grow little. <laughs> <laughs> the actual project now. Talk about yeah. it. What uh, exactly is it? So the theory of negativity um, was born out of um, being in Europe a year ago mm -hmm. and um, recognizing, or rather, you know, in certain reasoning with the same bridging them as me. Mm -hmm. tell you, the man them who carry the music forward inside the marketplace because it's not no mainstream radio really, or the thing. Mm -hmm. Is this little sound man them in the, the, the respective cities, so we big them up. So in reasoning with Abridging, who actually um, was the um, tour manager, um, pioneer, he was saying that, yo, in order for really um, galvanize this kind of support that they have, you know, pocket by pocket here, they need albums. This is how this market works. They want, they want to work in a, in, a, in a format to them can listen and vibe to and say, yes, we want to see, you know, perform them song yeah, what we have on the album okay. and vibe to. Mm -hmm. So that's where the, the idea for our album was born. I mean, my last project came out 2007, so it was Quite you know right. yeah, more than overdue. You know, a couple more. My first reggae song was a hit song. Well, it in its own regard, a song named God Not Sleep, mm -hmm. but Cry Baby Rhythm. You know what I mean? So, um, but you know, you do that, and then you have, you have the you know, dance hall in between or whatever. So I say, you know what, I really, I really want to commit to a, a, a full body of, of um, reggae. So the theory of negativity you now is to say, that this is not me knowing everything about reggae. This is me exploring. You know, so it's a theory. It's my it's my take. Okay. You it's your take on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> I yeah, got yeah. you now, sir. Yeah. So let's yeah. let's take a little piece of your take <laughs> yeah. on this project, yeah. Regativity from Assassin. What's the name of this? Uh, uh, so the, the, the song now we're going to listen is a song called Mix Up. is massive in the sound culture. Like this song is Sound Killer 101, you know? Okay. Um, and, you know, got, got the break in, in actually the East Coast of uh, uh, USA, like New York. Big up um, DJ Rai and Irie Jam, them really run with that one and thing. So, and this is produced by Ranch Entertainment, Shaggy and the gang, you know. Mix up, mix this on stage. Mix this. Ah! Oh, I'm on a rush, them like a pit bull. Mix with the rat, lock them like a rifle. Mix with the shot, I know for them. Love the watch, you watch it, chat it, chat it like a peeping time mix. With the mouth, I'm a sit, try to mix up the original. All right, so that video was shot where? In New York. So, you know, I mm -hmm. think so because it get the break in New York, it was only was only right, you know, for go back to which part, the vibe they generate from and, and get the video done. The album is out when? Um, Roughly? Well, we, we, we are this aiming year? for, yes, man, we're aiming for November 27th, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we still have 
um, you know, eyes to dot and T's to cross, but they don't know many rivers to cross, like um, the great thing I said. So, so the end of November, we should look for... Yeah, well, before the year is out, let's for say... For the theory the, of, of reggativity. Yeah, man. From Agent Sasko. Oh, and this is not gibberish either. E equal... Because the theory of relativity, don't yeah. confuse it with Einstein work now. Yeah. The theory of <laughs> relativity say E equal MC squared. Yeah. And the massive who know about them physics with that can tell you what that really means. Well, this is E equal, see I see there, mm. and this is C sharp minor. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, yeah. I wouldn't know anything about that, sir. Yeah. I know nothing about music. <laughs> I can only talk about it. I know. <laughs> Yeah, man. Agent, Give thanks. Give as thanks. usual, it's always yeah, so good to have you on our stage. Yeah, no And respect. thanks for the uh, update on what's going on with music in Europe. Yeah, man, so. but, you know, as you say, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a good time for action, you know, so we're calling the people, you know, really mean this music good for take it serious and, and let's get going. And we have to do this. Every time I come on the program, you know, we have to do this. Yeah. Stay with us on stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because Spice, the spicy one, is next right here on stage. <laughs> So me go and come me don't have the man So me sit down and just a wine for me song Wine for the floor getting my dang along Hi, thanks for watching our video. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking right here and enjoy so much more where that came from. The Spice Wine. <laughs> so they made up a story. So the that he was caught. Yes, that he was caught with the Japanese. Of course, I, I actually put up some of the pictures as well to say, yes. what is this?